Hi and welcome to Gibbo's Creative Flow. You have arrived on my desk <laughs> on the 9th of December. Um, so I'm still carrying on with the blank pages, so I've, the blank uh, days. So on these days you can either rest or catch up with the other prompts. But because I've got, so yesterday you would have seen um, a little gills card with the elephant and a little uh, play horse. And then today I'm going to do a teenager card from scratch and this, a couple of the scraps from here are from Susie Q Makes. And But if you are joining in with this challenge, it's called Defemorember and it's hosted by 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Heinzel. And you can just use the hashtag, the same hashtag of that name and you'll see what everyone else is doing. So with further ado, um, what have I got on my desk? So... What does a 14 year old boy like? So the first thing is, thank you so much Susie, these two scraps might work perfectly with what I've got in mind. Ooh, sorry, the whole <laughs> this packaging is under the... Ooh, that's it. Um, so I've got this packaging from a controller which was gifted for my son. And I kept the packaging <clears throat> and I was like, look how cool the colours are on this. And it is by Sony, this product. And it's called Prism Edition Wired Controller. So, and then the other thing I was thinking is, I'm um, getting his name on there. So his name is just Garan Singh. And getting his age on there, which is 14. Um, and this is the card that we'll be using. So this is the envelope, hopefully we can just match, make the envelope matching as well. And then this is the card and I'll sign it afterwards. And maybe include a moustache in there. Yeah, that'll be cool. I hope you guys are doing all right. I'm just going to grab some scissors, which are on this side. If this crackling noise is getting on your nerves, Sorry, just let me know and I can uh, turn it off. Oh, right there. It's just, I'm just going to take this bit off. Let's see how much of this we can salvage. Of this um, packaging. I quite like that um, dotty section as well, actually. I'm wondering if I need to go in with the Fabri-Tac because this is quite a thick card. If I can um, make it into another layer, I will. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's use... Let's go around the actual controller first of all. If we can take a bit of this off as well, it's quite thick. Let's see if we can take a layer off at least. Yeah. Nope. not budging I think we will have to use um, the Fabri-Tac just gonna tear off this because I think that's pretty cool to incorporate Ooh. <laughs> I'll fight with it first got a top layer on there actually that can come off And then maybe keep a bit of this as well. And then see what we can use. Ah, 
maybe not none of that actually this one i'll keep but the rest goodbye they will be recycled so how shall we do this have it like this I really like that piece I could maybe finish off that corner this could be these could be saved for the actual envelope actually and then I did want to get his name and stuff on there definitely his age what I might do just pull out some chalks and then just see if we can just use the red and pop out the edging Better days. Mm. I know you can't see it very clear, but it's just a quick edge on the just so there's some interest. One says, have a cool birthday, and then we've got the game controller again. So maybe we can stamp these out. And this is by Teeny Boppers, and it's clear of impressions. And it is free in a magazine by Creative Stamping. Yeah. I was trying to look for the date, but I don't, can't see the date on there. So maybe, actually, let's see where we can add... Let me grab the stamp stuff. So we've got a soft pad, the block. Let's just grab the message. Which says have a cool birthday to start with. Actually, we could stamp both things at the moment. I'm just going to put that on the top. And let's give it a light tap. Make sure all of that is covered. And I always do pad to stamp. Just gentle light tapping. Don't squish it down because then you'll smudge the image. Right, so now we're just going to align that. Have a look at where we're going to stamp. And then place down. And then do even pressure. Just rocking it a little bit and then lift. And that's what you get. I might do another one. Save it for another time, seeing as we've got it out. Okay. Stick it on the other side. And then what I'll do is use the controller stamp that in the middle because then we've got a matching thing going on and it could always be used in the envelope actually let's have a look sorry it's going to go on my pad but never mind okay just do that Yeah, I was going to put paper underneath there, but never mind. Too late. Okay, so I'm just going to leave these to the side a second. And see where to place the message for a start. Yeah, I'm just going to tear that and then see how it looks. Just 
getting it towards me so that I get a white edging but if you didn't want it with a white edging you can tour it away from you okay the other thing we could have done unless we just do initials actually I was gonna say his name is long black soot let's just do the versifying that should change it completely that's it and then that maybe his initials and uh, his age can go here oh his age can go there let's grab the numbers actually i'm thinking of these two big I've got this size you know what that might work let's go for that so he is 14 I'm not going to put it down completely because I just want to make sure it's in the right section. Oh. Just trying to straighten it up. And then we've got um, Susie had sent me 50 scraps of these, this, <laughs> the die cut. Um, I was, I was going to put his full name, but then I'm now thinking, well, unless I put the first name and then I handwrite the rest of it, shall we do that instead? I'm just going to grab the... Anyway, hang on. Here we go. I'm gonna go in a bit so you can see what I'm because uh, if this doesn't work then that's gonna be a big fail. Let's just do it in pencil, shall we? <laughs> just gonna do it in pencil then we could always back it up with uh go over it with black. Make sure that's in the right place before we start writing. Yep, happy with that. So, first name J. That might be too big. We could always chop some of that controller off. I'm going to move it up a touch. This is why it's good to do this before you've actually... <laughs> but, uh, that's the J. And then, is that the biggest K we've got? Oh no, we don't need a K, we need the S. <laughs> See, I'm confused already. Is that the biggest S? Doesn't look in proportion to the J, does it? Never mind. We're going to go with it now. I'm just going to go around that. And then I'm going to just hand write his name. 
Which I shall just use the Sharpie. It's an ultra fine point. totally freestyle this if you wanted just sort of thing as I had the stencil or not as well utilize it okay so I'm going to write his name now, so it's J A S T A R A N and the surname is Singh. I'm going to go down with the G and high with the H. And what I might do is just add some little funky dots. oh cool okay <laughs> cool right so now i'm gonna grab the fabric tack actually i was gonna use the burly art but i'm gonna go with the fabric tack now already i'm just gonna keep this nearby so that i can turn it over Oops. Oh my goodness. How did that come off? Oh my god. I just need to take this bit off. There we go. Right then. Start with the corner. Corner piece. Because it's quite a still thick card, so this might work best. God, that candle is really crackling, isn't it? If that's bugging you guys, just let me know. I will get rid of it. The next prompt, if not, because I quite like I like the smell. Give it a good squeeze. Yeah, this is how to use packaging. If you've got any interest in packaging, have a little section for it. That's what I do. And so I, I've actually got a whole a little box, a shoe size, like shoes, whatever you call it, shoe size box. And I keep. Um, so I've just labelled it as toppers. So I know that if I needed to, I can add take anything from there random stuff and then use it as a topper and the top the the edge of this i will remove because it's coming out of the car although saying that it might actually still fit in the envelope okay let's just press that down rolling any excess glue off that's come out good and then now I'm gonna go for the bare play we've got this out now we might as well just carry on using this Oh, 
and then our little moustache faces. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of this tiny bit here because I won't be able to get to it if we put it on the zip. Mm. What up moustache? Yeah, I think that up moustache. <laughs> yep, the glue seeping a bit. But it should it will dry clear though. So what I might do is just use this pokey tool to just neaten out. Don't think it's gonna help, is it? It's all right, as long as it sticks, as long as we've got enough time for it to dry as well, actually. Yeah, I'm going to stop there, actually. So I will continue to decorate the envelope um, and then sign inside this card. I was saying that, can I just add just a little piece of this scrap on the other side? to tie it in with what's going on here to have a longer strap that way it's all gelled together then isn't it could do like Gee, hang on it didn't have to be that long let's do one there And then one there, I think. And I'll use the belly art there. I hope he likes it. Happy birthday. We will see you later today. In a couple of hours time <laughs> so we'll be giving this to him today for being well oh that's a lot better isn't it it's balanced it out just pop the uh, pin in there so it doesn't dry out and then just double check that this does fit in this upcycled envelope <laughs> This is actually given to so I normally put it in this way so that um, when they open it they can see well first of all it protects the front of the card as well yeah I'm gonna leave that little nick on if it's fine perfect so I've just got to sign it now do a message inside and hopefully he likes it <laughs> take care for now bye